it, it still surprises me to this day when I walk into and start having conversations with, with prospects about cybersecurity and technology and things like that, how many of them don't do the simplest of things. And one of those things is multi-factor authentication. It has been around for a long time. And I've walked into banks and financial institutions, I've walked into healthcare organizations that don't have it set up. And even that simple, simple thing, it's not even a cost factor. It's just a, it takes time to set it up in the beginning. And it's, there is definitely a inconvenience factor to the users, but multi-factor alone can prevent 99.9% .9 of automated cyber attacks specifically related to business email compromises. Um, and I'm sure you've all seen the email you get from somebody that you haven't talked to in 20 years, business related or otherwise, that all of a sudden says, hey, check out this new thing that I'm doing, click this link. And you look at it and half the words are spelled wrong or the sentences are out of order or something. And you're like, that, you know, John seemed really smart last time I talked to him. Where did this come from? <laughs> you know? So there's a lot of that that happens. And again, it's one of those things that once that genie is out of the bottle, it's hard to put it back in.